Welcome back Stoner Squad and welcome to all those new to the channel, Danish Stone here and thank you for joining me today for some more Imperator Rome playing as Makanon on the 1.5 Menander update. So in the last episode we wiped Epirus off the face of the earth and we also took out Talantia up north here. Uh, so we now have access to the Adriatic Sea which is pretty cool and we've wiped, we've wiped out uh, Firus as Epirus and by the way I think we've captured Firus, I'm, I'm pretty sure we have. We have, we've captured him which is great so we can actually use this guy as a commando which would be absolutely Absolutely awesome. He's only 31 years of age. Does he have a unique bloodline? He does. He has blood of Akos. Now, if I was to get this guy to marry, could I could I get this guy to marry? Can, can I get you to like marry one of my like bloodline or something and like kind of do a hybrid blood, a hybrid bloodline or something? I don't know. Doesn't look like I can. That's a shame. Oh well, that's a pity. It's a shame. I really would like to get the guy to be mad. I mean, I can't give him citizenship status, can I? No, I can't. It doesn't matter. Oh, well, so we conquered Epirus, took out Talantia and whatnot, and we've also uh, got Masapia as a client state here, which is pretty cool. Um, I thought that it would be a good thing to do because if I could just grow this before Rome get too big, it would give us some sort of buffer between Rome and us, and honestly, I do like the sound of that. So I think the next thing we're going to do is just quickly wage a quick war against Tarentum and their allies Metapontum. I'm pretty sure that's all they have. And we can get these two juicy cities. I think the two cities they are. The two cities, we can give it control control to Masapia. What about these guys? Samium, Lacania. Yeah, too many big people really there. Too many people allied with him. What about Lacania? Same here. I think these two would be nice to take. What about Heraclea? We could do Heraclea as well. We could probably do these three and hand it over to Masapia to make a nice juicy client. It'll give us like a fair bit of cash and help us with troops when we ever need them. Uh, but um, anyway, off camera, what have I done? I have... Move some province capital. So I moved the province capital of this um, province here, Valeria Gracia, to Apollonia. I've started building a city as well, because I think that a city in Apollonia is pretty cool. It's on ceramics, and um, it's on farmland, it's support, so that is all good stuff. And I've also got a fort being built in Larissa, maybe? No, I haven't. And I really want to build a fort in Larissa. I thought I did, but no. I want to get a fort in Larissa to help with the provincial, un well, not provincial unrest, but the province loyalty issue. And uh, this probably is going to be an issue throughout this campaign because the first time I'm playing with the update and the culture thing or the kind of provincial loyalty stuff and pop happiness it's all kind of changed so I'm just trying to get used to it so I think what we'll do in this episode as well we'll play with some of the cultures here I think now there is the Aetolian pops here they do have a lot of them there's 34 of them and I might actually see if we can integrate them um, however I don't really know how to do this so maybe if I was to Maybe I have to give civic rights. What if I was to up it to the citizen? Because what, what what I understand is that the basically if you put the civic rights to a certain category of pops, pops will only promote up to that level of citizens. It won't go above. So on freemen currently, they won't promote above the freemen. So I think we should. Where where is the Etonian culture, by the way? Let's let's have a look at this. I think I can see this. It's down here. I think I've got a couple of cities. Um. I only have one here, to be honest, so I don't know if it's worth it just yet. I really don't. Um, honestly, I have absolutely no idea. I'm a little bit lost here, to be fair. Do I want to try this? I mean, I have disloyal provinces. They're all going down quite a lot. Yeah, it really is. You know what? Let's give it a go. Let's give it a little go. We'll change the status here. We'll put them onto citizens. Let's see what happens. So this will start integration process, cost me five political influence, that's interesting, uh, which will complete when we give them equal rights to our primary culture and protect them from assimilation. Once started, the integration process cannot be stopped while integration is ongoing, your country will have the following penalty to stability. Oh, okay. How long does it last? Yeah, I ain't going to do that just yet. Because we have no stability, so, and it's only rising by 0.10 per month, so I really can't do that. So it looks like we're going to have to wait it out, and if we do have any problems, we're going to have to fight the rebellion. Um, but I think what we should do in the future is definitely try and integrate all the Greek kind of cultures in the mainland, I suppose. That would be pretty nice. But we shall see. We shall see. I still have no idea what I'm doing, but we'll figure it out as we go along. Um, anyway, let's get these guys back. Uh, this is the fifth Stratos, and I will bring you back over to Larissa. Actually, I can't. I need to get the boat, don't I? Um, actually, I'll bring you guys back first. I'll pop you to Oricos, and then we'll wait till we get the claim, and we'll fight in Italy and try and take these for our claim. But enough of me rambling here. Let's get rolling. Bim, bam, boom. 
So, we are definitely going to be having some issues with this province um, loyalty. I really, I really have no idea how I'm meant to solve this problem. Well, I'll figure it out. We'll figure it out as we go along. Anyway, let's go and pick up these guys. We're going to the sea there. We'll pick up this 10k stack. Get these guys to get their troops back as well. Have a little bit of manpower, not too much. Delphi want to import marble. No problem. Be my guest. Take the marble. So we'll pop you guys back on the boat there. That's fine. We also probably need to make some claims on someone else as well. Maybe down here. I mean, let's have a look at our Diplo map mode here. So we have a lot of vassals and stuff. So these are all under our control. They're guaranteed by us, Argos. So I'll keep that like that. I don't want any one of the other Greek city-states kind of trying to take claim to that. Um, are they guaranteed by us? I'm trading with them. That's why. I'm trading with these guys. So maybe if we were to... I suppose we could... Get a claim on Latea. Who are you allied to? Boesha and Thebe. We could take out like three people with one go here. So let's try to get a claim. We'll get that going there. We might as well. They want olives. That's not a problem. I suppose you could get multiple claims going. But um, that seems to be fine for the moment. I don't even have the political influence to do it yet. Anyway, several nights ago, Amasias Elimioted was discovered helping himself to a sizable quantity of gold from the National Treasury. Who are you, dude? Archigrammatus. Quite loyal. I could flog you. Oh god, I go into debt because of this. Are you kidding me? Um, yeah, let's flog him. I gained a bit of popularity out of that. That's a shame. Oh, the fridge. The Antigonids want an alliance? Now that could work. That really could work to our advantage. I'm going to think about that. I really am. He's still influencing, which increases his monthly political influence gain by 20%. Let's trade with Kirkwan first. We'll trade the olives. That's not a problem. Now, do I want to be allied with the Antigone of Kingdom? I think we could, you know. And it would help us for the time being. And we might be able to use them to take out Thrace. And that could be good. And it does protect us from people. So, let's do the alliance. How many men do you have? 26 cohorts. You've got no manpower there. Um, how long are your truces lasting, by the way? Yeah, they have no truces. I don't think I'm going to accept your offer just yet. No, because they're pretty weak. Egypt can pretty much storm them if they wanted to. So could the Seleucids. I don't want to be dragged into another war just yet. So, so no. No, 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 no. We're, we're going to refuse that. Um, you're going to go over here, by the way, in Napactos. Of trade with Nasseria. By the way, can we do any more trade routes? That is a good question. We can. But what can I trade here? What do we have in this province here? Have enough food. Have more than enough food. Let's try and get something like gemstones. Yeah, gemstones is nice. Let's get some gemstones. Local citizen happens plus 4%. That's pretty cool. But I don't have citizens there, though. That's a shame. Because, of course, they don't have the rights. What about over here? Do I have enough food? We do have enough food. What can I get? Nothing because I don't have any gold. Which is a shame. We'll just wait till we get the gold and then I'll do the trade. What do you want? That's one. That's fine. Won't want to trade honey. That's also good. Why am I losing food here? Oh, I think because we've got armies resupplying, of course. I will actually get some grain, I think. Oh, no, we'll get an excess of livestock. Yeah, let's get an excess of livestock in there, just to kind of keep the food up a little bit. That'd be quite nice. We'll do that. That's pretty good. Stability is slowly creeping up. We're still going to need a little bit more. Um, you guys are very close to be able to declare war on them. I just need to get the claim, and then we can definitely do it. I just think it's a good opportunity here just to grow this client and make them provide some more gold for us. And increase their strength, because you never know, we might be able to use them at some point. Now, 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 how much gold are we making? 5.66, that's not bad. I don't want to increase the size of the army just yet. Um, let's go for the stability here, definitely. Extra stability is nice. We'll have some of that. We need to get probably up to about 50 stability before I start integrating a culture, I think. Um, yeah, this is all going down. I'm just going to check the province loyalty here of everything. So, Thetel is going up. This is going up. Chalkidi is going up. Olivia Grace is going down. Boisha as well, Atolia. I think this is because it's all conquered land, so... Yeah, we're going to have a little bit of a problem. That's not going down too much. Is there anything we can do? I don't think there's much we can do here. God, I still really don't know how this works. I really would like to. Well, it's... By plane, we're going to find out how it works. Let's go down a little bit. Why? Why are you losing loyalty? Regional power, yes. Corinthos. It's because of the unrest. I'm positive. 
But I can't really place any troops there. Well, I could make a small light force in, in Conrinth, I suppose, and in Chalkis. We could do that to keep the peace. I am incredibly tempted. It wouldn't cost too much, but we would be using our manpower, though. That is the problem. How much gold do they cost, archers? Let's have, let's have a look at this. Recruit cohorts. Archers cost 0 0.26 to maintain. So what if I was to go for 1, 2... So that's 0 0.4. Maybe 0 0.6. And I'll go for... One, two. Yeah, I've used all, all my gold there. That's one, two, three. That's five. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do a little 5k stack, I think, and we'll see what happens. I'm recruiting them all in the same area. I should have spread it out, really, but oh well. It doesn't matter. It is what it is. What about you now? Do we have the claim nearly? Oh, who are you fighting? Apulia. Where the hell is Apulia? Oh, you're fighting these guys. Apulia are friends with Samium, Lacania. Too many. That's a shame. These guys have gone in there. That's not cool. They're all fighting each other. Nobody else has joined Apulia, which is interesting. Maybe we can get in there quickly. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. When is the claims done? Very close. Do you want stuff? No problem. We'll trade with you. That's fine. Let's get the navy... Yeah, let's get the navy over here. I'll get ready to strike, I think. Let's see if we can get there before they do. I've got a claim on Tarentum. I think it's these guys here. Yeah, it do. We have a claim on these guys. So let, let's quickly go. We must be able to do this quickly. I'm going to try and get there as fast as we can. We They only have Metapontum. Let's give it a go. Take Tarentum. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. It's just a kind of thing to do now, really. It's just a kind of a good opportunity. So let's just get you guys embark on there. That's fine. I'm going to bring you over here. And let's see if we can quickly get on this fort before anything happens. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's get there. Let's move, let's move. That's what I like. I'll right, quickly disembark you on there. We should be able to finish him off. Okay, so that's good. I'm liking that. What if I split you guys up in half? Let's... Let's split in half. So now I'll move you guys over here. We might as well. See if I can seize them both at the same time. Okay, yes, 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 yes. We got on there before they did, which is really good. Hopefully these guys will join and help the siege. And that means I can just keep these on there for the moment. Oh no, they've joined. So, that's fine. So now we can siege, but I'm going to have it because I, I am the siege controller, I think. Yeah, I do control the siege, which is good. So we're going to take this. So that's fine. So good job we actually split up the troops. That's a really good thing to do. Whew, so we might actually get something out of this. Anyway, a petitioner approaches a mature individual by the name of Alexandros Ayakid. Who are you? A minor character. Uh, basically, he's come and he's worried, he's about, worried about dying. Ooh. Now, we can either gain 100 and some gold and he gains loyalty towards us, but he's a minor character. We can convince him that all will be well. I gain a little bit of stability. Or we gain 6 tyranny and we gain 300 gold. Now, we do have a bonus to tyranny reduction, so I think we're going to have him burnt at the stake. Yep, we'll burn him at the stake. That gives us 400 gold. We can now buy some tech. Now, what do we want? The build cost would be good. Aggressive expansion change as well. The ruler pop gain would also be nice. Maybe the aggressive expansion change aggressive expansion change would be nice. Humane conduct as well is pretty good. I would like to get the build cost. So let's get the build cost. And I think we'll keep the rest. Or should I? Yeah, let's keep the rest. I could probably go for some buildings. What I do want to do is definitely build a couple of forts in the areas where um, we haven't got any. Like here in this um, province here of Thessaly, we haven't got any forts, and forts do reduce unrest. Or the increased province loyalty. I'm pretty sure in the update that's what happens. It doesn't tell you, but let's give it a go. I want one in Larissa, the capital of the province. I've got one in... She's got level 2 fort in Jalkis. It's only slightly reducing. There's got to be something we can do. Um, what if I was to change the policy here and go for local autonomy? I so close. So damn close. Um, what I'm going to do is we're going to bring you guys to Chalkis. Um, let's get the navy. Let's bring these guys over to Lamia here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and pop this on Chalkis. The small governor force. Try to keep the peace. I think that would be the best thing to do. 14% like there. That's pretty close. Are you? Have you arrived? Oh, the sacking of Taras. So I'm going to let the looting be gentle here. I don't want to kill them all because I'm going to hand it over to my client. So let's just uh, hand it over to Masapia. We'll transfer the land. 
we'll go over here now and help take this city. What about you guys? What if I have to declare war on you? A croton would come in. So I could get a bit of Croton from the Sapia, but... Nah, I think that's enough. Them two cities will do it just fine. Is our navy, has our navy arrived? No, they haven't. They're going all the way around the southern, southern tip of Greece. But they're sieging. That's fine. We'll just wait for that to happen. We're making 4.14 gold. It's not bad. Uh, the coming of the city of Apollonia. That's pretty good. So we now have our city over here, finally. And I will... Oh, I am already building the fort, which is pretty cool. I will leave it on pop assimilation, I think. They are Epirate. So I would like to get rid of the Epirate pops. There's not many of them, anyway, in our realm. I don't think we have many Epirate pops. Oh, we do. We have 104 of them? Wow. We have 102 Thessalian Pops. Has that all gone up all of a sudden? I swear to God it wasn't that many. Unless we've had a lot of migration. But we're going to have to integrate these guys. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to integrate. So I might actually stop assimilating these guys. Because there is a lot of them. So let's give them... Let's give them some local autonomy, maybe. They give them local autonomy. Let's try it. What happens? It goes down a little bit, not too much. 0 0.08 now. Let's accept the fish from you. Yeah, I might have to. I might have to do some integration once we get the stability up. Come on, it's very close. I need more stability. Why won't it go up anymore? The aggressive expansion hurt stability. That's new. Yeah, I'm sure aggressive expansion didn't hurt the stability game before. That must be a change. That must be something that's changed. Oh well, let's pop you down to Chalkis now. Down we go, boys. Then once they're there, I'll assign him to the region. Pop you on there. That should help. Yeah, that's helped it. There we go. So now it's rising. So that's good. Get the navy. We'll bring these guys back over here. Keep blockading this area. We'll trade with them. That's no problem. Or well, I might actually integrate. Even though we have, like, not much stability, I might integrate them. I don't know how long it takes, though. That is the problem. Who knows how long it takes. Right, 42%. What's this? The statue of Antipatros. So people want to raise the statue. Local pop happiness will lose popularity. Yes, please. Local pop happiness is nice. But I have a potential civil war now. And that is not cool. So who's pissed? You and your what? The arch is a matophylax. And the other guy is the governor of Greece. That's not cool. I might have to bribe this guy. Yeah, I'm going to quickly bribe him. That'd be fine. That solves the problem. And the other guy, I'll just leave him for the moment. The sacking of Metapontion. So, let's let the looting be gentle. Yeah, we'll just let it all be gentle. I don't want to kill everybody. It's all for the client, so... Let's go transfer to Masapia. And I think that is pretty good. I might strike on these guys. Nah, they've got a big defensive league, so that's not possible. So, let's uh, sue for peace. I'll transfer it to our friend here, so they should grow normally. That's fine. Transfer it over. Thank you very much. And there we go. So, Mesapia now should be a little bit stronger. Which I like. Because then, force the more money they give us, which is all good. Now, these pirates are a bit of a pain here, and I don't like this. Uh, they don't have they don't have as good um, troops as us, though, so that's fine. I should be able to dodge them. Yeah, we can dodge them. So, let's go into Korkira here. All Bountiful Harvest. This is really good. So, I'm going to go for the gold here. And I think we should integrate some pops. Let's, yeah, let's try out. Let's try out this mechanic. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Wow. A lot, a lot, a lot. Should I integrate or should I... I really don't know. So the pops are assimilating. But do I want to assimilate them? That is the problem. What is the culture map mode like at the moment? The Macedonians all up here. I don't know whether to assimilate the whole... This is the conundrum I have at the moment. I don't know whether to assimilate everybody who is of our culture group. Just to turn it all into Macedonian. Because it's quite easy to do. It's the same religion. And it's not that hard. So I might actually change this. Let's give it a go. Let's pop in on cultural assimilation. See how fast this goes now. 1.7. I could go for some extra buildings here. Like, we could do maybe a theatre. 
Popper simulation speed goes up with that. I really don't know. This is... I really have no idea what I want to do here. Um, let's go and pick the rest up here. I'm going to pick you guys. I forgot that 7k stack. Um, the Selian have already integrated, so I don't really need to... I don't know why I changed that. They're, they're integrated, so I don't need to assimilate them. Really. Don't know why I actually changed that to that. I probably should have left it. Oh, well. The Epirot ones, though, we have a lot of, so let's... Really, really... I really don't know. I really don't know. I really don't know. The Epirot ones aren't, so let's do the... Let's integrate them. Maybe not nobles. I want to keep, like, Macedonian nobles. Let's do this, then. Let's, um... Let's try it out. Let's integrate the Epirot pops. There's a lot of them. We have a lot of slaves, citizens, freemen, but let's, um, let's do it. Do it, let's go. How long does it take? That actually goes quite fast. Wow. So really, that is not much of a problem. I thought it would take longer than that, but obviously no. So let's integrate them. We'll see what happens. All good to find out new stuff. But now that is done, and now Masapia are pretty good. So let's see what they give us in tributes. How much do they hand us over? I'd like to know. Oh, here we go. 0 0.78. That's not bad. Not bad. It's not bad. It funds us. Anyway, the 124th Olympiad. Oh, we're going to send... Oh, of course. We're going to send uh, Ferris, of course. He's He's got to win for us. Please, please win. Please, please, please. I really would like it if he could win. All right, we'll merge these two together. And we'll pop you into the capital pellet. You guys can drill. And what's this? Who offers friendship? The... Oh, the... Um, our, is it a tribal vassal? Is he our tribal vassal? Is there a tributary? Yeah, let's be friends with you. Why not? Increases uh, their opinion of us. Let's get some more tech. Let's go for... Let's go for... Let's go for... Let's go for... What should I go for? Military provincial investment cost would be nice. Army weight modifier could be cool. Supply limit could be good as well. Maybe grain rations. Or let's go for the roller pop grain. Roller pop game. Okay. Divine Sacrifice Cost. That could be good. Change Governor Policy Cost minus 20% is very useful. Monthly Tyranny Reduction as well. Let's go for that. And Claim Fabrication Speed. That could be very useful as well. Yeah, let's spend. Actually, no. I'm going to keep some gold here. Because now what I want to do is probably try to see what buildings we can build. So, what do I want? Let's, let's go to the capital. Really, just so much new stuff. So I've got a couple of court of laws here. Now they give citizen happiness and local desired citizen ratio. That's interesting. This increases local tax by 30%. I don't know if it works that much, to be honest. I don't know if it's worth having. Um, let's see. Let's go for something to help the nobles. Let's go for a lib. Let's go for... Probably should do an aqueduct, really. Oh, no, one extra pop, and we get an extra building slot. So we'll go for an academy as well. Why not? So we'll pop that in there. What about over here? What are our ratios here? We have a lot of freemen. Too many nobles. So let's pop on the... Do I want the court of law? Do I really want the court of law? Let's build a lib and we'll see where that goes. Because from what I gather, nobles provide you with a lot of cash and a lot of research points. But that could be quite useful. But then we need to think of fighting someone else, don't we? Well, first of all, let's see where... Oh, yes, Firos won. Thank God he won the Olympics. That's great. We gained six stability out of that, which is wicked. And we gain opinion with every single Greek nation or Hellenistic nation participating in the Olympic Games, which is fantastic. But that's really good. Let's have a look at our culture now. How's that fast that's going? Athenian Civil War ends. It goes quite fast, actually. I'm quite surprised. Trade wins. Ooh, local tax plus 30% in Amathia. Yes, please, we'll have some of that. Um, Boeotian Civil War ends. Yep, not my problem. Masania want an alliance. No, thank you. Let's call down an omen. Maybe go for this here. Yeah, let's go for the extra research points. I think that could help. We do make... We are at 63%, 64% now, so it's not that bad. It could be better. The Faith of Alexarchos. 
Lose 18 gold, gain 6 stability. Yes, we'll have some of that, definitely. The closer we can get to 50 stability, the better. What are our promises now? Yeah, the loyalty is increasing. I think stability plays a lot now in the loyalty of the province. Isolated province, what's that? How did you get isolated province? Oh, of course, because I'm integrating them, that's why. The Syria, they want earthenware, no problem. You can take that, that's fine. But that's good. So we seem to have resolved the, like, how to put it, um, province loyalty issues for the moment. But that's not too bad. Granum is raided. We've received word from local officials that the province of Boeotia and several important food provincial stockpiles have been looted by malcontents. Yeah, I can't afford to lose 60 summit gold, so the brigands will be caught. I'll lose political influence. Lose I don't want to lose manpower. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Well, Polaios can cover the cost. Actually, no, it's the governor of Greece. I'm going to get rid of the governor of Greece. I might change. Governor of Greece. Where are you? You're here. I'm going to change you. And I will probably put this guy. Unless we have someone with good trade. Let's put you. Yeah, I put no, because you're. Who are you? Are you my nephew? No, you're not. You remember the family, but I suppose I could put you. Let's see what happens. Let's pop this guy on. Okay, and then Antipatros can cover the loss. So it changes now. Okay, this is a nice little trick. So it's no longer this guy, but it's the other guy we put in. So he loses ten loyalty. He goes down to thirty-two. But can I bribe you? That is a big question. So let's let him cover the cost, okay? And then what I'll do is I'll bribe the guy. And there we go. Problem solved. Because I don't want to waste any of the manpower here. We we don't have that much, so I don't want to risk it. Tell me, do forts... I want to find out if forts actually increase promise loyalty. Or does it lower unrest? Fort levels in province. Okay, minus 0.25 per fort level. That's interesting. So, here it's quite good. So, basically, yeah, just need to, like, kind of fort the place up. And it lowers the unrest, which is pretty good. That's really good. So, I suppose in regions where it's not your culture and it's kind of far away, I suppose fort forting the crap out the places must work pretty well. Um, can't provide for any colonies. I need more pops to colonize that, don't I? Uh, peculating official. What's this? So, it's come to our attention that our trusted advisor, Eucrates Polyperkid, has been siphoning funds from our treasury. You bastard. Now, I could really punish the guy, and I could imprison him. And he is my friend. Um, I suppose I could. And it would give us cash, but I do... I actually don't have that much tyranny. Yep, I'm going to imprison the guy. Fuck you. No way do you steal from me. So I'm going to change. We'll put someone else. Home country in ruins. Oh, of course. We must have... Oh, that must be a modifier to his opinion. Because we kind of attacked his land and integrated, the, integrated it into the realm. That's interesting. Well, that is new. I'll put this guy. Why not? It gets rid of the scorn family thing. And we have got a lot of gold. Which means we can now spend some, some stuff now. We can probably get some nice tech. So let's go for the... What do I want here? The war score cost would be nice. Aggressive expansion impact is good as well. Improved maximum opinion could help. Now I've got a little bit of gold. We should probably spend some more on some buildings. To be fair. What do I want here? Honestly, I really don't know what I need. Maybe go for some... What is our pop ratio here? Probably go for some more citizens, I think. So maybe go for the court of law. One court of law would be nice. Let's also go for... Let's go for... Yeah, let's go for another court of law. And then we'll go for maybe... An academy. Or a library. Yeah, let's go for a library. That seems to be pretty good. So we'll do that there. Here I don't have a city, I've noticed. I could probably do with building one down here. We don't have a city in this area. I could do with building one. What about in Larissa? Larissa, we could probably go for... What is our pop ratios here? God, so much stuff. I really have no idea what I want. 
this is really good. The up, honestly, the instead of like having a set amount of buildings that because before the update I used to always do the same thing and it actually you didn't really need to use any other buildings. Now they've actually given meanings to some of the other buildings like the court of law. It it just like kind of makes it all that more. And even the marketplace, it's like local base trade routes. It's like I suppose you could do one in Pella and see what happens, but let's go for. Let's do another court of law. I mean, here I don't think they can promote above citizens. I'm pretty sure. Let's check the culture. Where's it? The Sally. Yeah, they can only promote into citizens. Which is interesting. So let's... Yeah, let, let's, let's not go for anything to do with nobles here. So let's just build some court of laws, I suppose. Let's get another court of law. Why not? And let's go. Um, are you still fighting over there? They are. Is that independent? Oh no, it's the Napoleon Revolt. Interesting. Here, yeah, the fighting down there. Do I have more claims, by the way? I probably should go for some. Though, maybe I could go for a claim on you guys. Who are you allied to? Amphissa and Delphi. Well, that works. That's kind of a back way in. So let's make a claim on these guys. We should just get claims over everybody, to be honest. Um, I could do a mission, by the way. I could do the Matter of Macedonia or the Pearl of Macedonia. I could do the Pearl of Macedonia. Let's see, let's see what missions we've got over here. So the mines of Chalkidiki. Boots of Pelagonia. Yeah, we could do all this. This is pretty good. And it would increase the productivity of our capital region. So, yep, we'll do that. We'll focus on that. Anyway, I'm now going to end the episode here, people. Um, again, thank you so much for joining me. And um, yeah, thank you for your patience. I do apologise if I'm kind of going a little bit slower here on things. But I'm just trying to get my head around all the different changes. Especially to culture and stuff. By the way, is this nearly finished? Oh, they've been integrated. Oh, and of course, now we have minus 10% because we have integrated cultures. That is interesting. Okay. So now they're integrated. So now they should be happier. Especially over here. They are. And their happiness should be a lot higher. It is. That's good. That's good, that's good, that's good. I might actually increase it to nobles. Should I actually do that? What if I was to pop on rights increased and increase it to nobles? I don't know, but that's good anyway, so all we have a lot of pops of the Thessalian and Epic culture, so that's pretty good, so we can actually keep it like that. So what I guess is that we should probably integrate the cultures that there are a lot of on our, kind of in our, kind of homeland, and then the rest we should probably assimilate if it's not the same culture. But um, anyway, yeah, as, um, as per usual, um, enough of me blabbering, Thanks, <laughs> thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you have any pointers or anything about how to work with the new stuff, please don't hesitate to put them in the comments down below. I would really appreciate it, it would really help me. And uh, again, if you enjoyed the content, please don't hesitate to hit that like button. And if you want to see more Imperial Rome content, also consider subscribing to the channel for more. And with that said and done, thanks again for being here, people, and I'll hopefully catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.